Hello there, avid listener. It is I, Student And you might be wondering about this short little bit of nonsense known as Wandering Boy. So let's clear some things up. I am bad with my hands. If I was good with them, I would have done art rather than this. Instead of relying on sketches, I mainly relied on reference images combined with an image in my head. It would be quite difficult to get that down on paper, seeing how bad I am with drawing. What I have here are some inspirational images, not for you, for me. As you can tell, the final designs of my characters and models are often heavily based on that of existing things. I am a very derivative man. Since I am the only one working on this project, sketching is not an important skill as I am the director, editor, modeler, animator, etc. Had there been another member, I would have needed to convey my ideas and intentions. Sketching would have been a valuable skill that I needed to develop. However, for this project, sketching was not as vital. Had there been a team that I needed to work with, I would have definitely needed to be able to draw something other than stick figures and objects with weird proportions. So I guess that's the benefit of working alone. So there's that. As I said before, I do not draw. Instead, I like to write. I have here a basic script. It has all of the proper formatting and is in the proper font, that being Courier Nil. The reason it is in that font is because all of the characters are the same size, meaning it would be easier to read them and it would not require any kerning to keep things legible. A script should be adhered to when making a film, but for Wandering Boy, the script mainly served as a guideline. Midway throughout the project, sometime in February, I compiled a shot list which was also not final. It was basically a written storyboard for the editor, who was me. Had there been other team members, both the script and the shot list would have needed to be more final and concrete. However, I did not need to worry about that. I am not trained in music, not anything formal at least. Still, most of the music in Wandering Boy was composed by me based off my sufficient knowledge of music theory. There's this YouTube video called How to Imitate a Whole Lot of Hollywood Film Music in 4 Easy Steps by Scott Murphy. And he nails what is a good chord progression used in sci-fi films such as Star Wars. Sounds a little like this. The reason I stuck to using my own music was mostly for legal reasons. I was having difficulty finding songs which suited the project and were also royalty free. It would have been unethical to use the songs which were owned by other people without the proper licenses. Therefore, I made my own music. While it was a bit basic and simplistic at certain points, it would be tailored to my major project and the good news was I owned the rights to use the music since I created them. Instead of using a digital audio workstation software or DAWs for my musical compositions, I used score writing software MuseScore for one key reason. It's free. Also, I was already using it before I started work on Wandering Boy and I knew the software quite well. This saved me time from learning Adobe Edition which I had access to. MuseScore was good enough for this project. Have a listen. I'm happy with my choice of software in music, even if it's not very professional or industry grade. Audacity is technically a DAWs, but I mostly use it to edit sound rather than create music because I'm not bothered plugging in my MIDI keyboard into my laptop whenever inspiration struck me. I'm actually using Audacity to record this right now because Audacity is so user friendly. The good news is Audacity is also free. Yes, I like using free software. While modeling and animating, I thought about recording my own actions for two purposes. One, to keep evidence of my own work, and two, to keep something to look back upon for inspiration. Eventually, I collected over 100 gigabytes of footage that you can actually see before you right now and throughout this video. The good thing was that recording my own work did not take up much GPU power, meaning I can basically record my GPU rendering images if I wanted to. Wandering Boy took way too much time because I was basically making parts up as I went. Since I did not have a clear plan in mind, I often found myself directionless. This wasted a lot of time. However, it gave me time and an opportunity to learn. And I think that's what this project is really all about. I wanted to create a short film as a bit of an ego booster to show myself that I can create a film. There is still room to improve and I'm pretty sure you'll find some scathing remarks from myself in the folio. But with that all said and done, I think I at least made an effort. Take a look at the film and the folio and see if you will agree with me.